January 12, 2011. The life of a Chicago native and rapper by the name of Mark Campbell, also known as Little Mark, changed forever. It was the day that he lost his brother, Shondell Gregory, also known as Tuca. 15-year-old Chanel Gregory was shot in the 500 block of East 63rd Street. The boy was on the street when a suspect got out of a vehicle and shot him multiple times. That gunman got back into the car and fled west on 63rd. Police say Gregory was on the scene. The incident is possibly gang-related. No one is in custody. To the streak of gang feuds in the city, the turf rivalry was only on the incline with every hit that occurred. The anger and pain that triggered the need for vengeance only resulted in more anger and pain that further corroded the minds of the youth. Friends were left with grief, families were torn apart, and mothers were left with tears and a hole in their heart. My son. Laying on that cold ground. I knew I had to get over there to be with my son. It hadn't even dawned on me that he was. Little Mark was about to become a rising statistic. Just like his brother, he was associated with the gang set that went by the name 051YM, also known as 051 Young Money, and his actions in support of the gang feud with rival areas came at a heavy price, his life. On March 25, 2014, Little Mark would go on to release a music video for a diss record aimed at a slew of his rivals. Little Mark can be seen accompanied with others holding firearms while targeting his rivals with disrespectful lyrics that mock the lives of their friends that have passed. Little Mark went on to musically describe the gruesome way in which his rivals lost their lives in a manner to brag and taunt those still living. To place things in perspective, of how many Little Mark offended within the song. Within his lyrics, he took aim at gang sets spanning across OTF, 600, Lamron, 300, and O Block. In doing so, he placed an enormous target on his back. His decision to step into the line of fire by releasing the song would become a mistake he'd soon regret. Many feared his life was in danger, not only due to dissing so many other rival sets, but also him, including a particular footage in the music video. At a point in the song, Little Mark shows himself on a FaceTime call with a Chicago native known as Lil Reese. What's all on? Alright. That AO sh The significance of this is that the call wasn't a friendly one, but one between rivals, and Lil Reese was widely given the sinister alias, the Grim Reaper, a name he proudly depict on his skin. It's often seen that everyone who disrespected him went on to lose their lives. Not only that, but this gang member has become something of a myth as no matter how many times they tried to take his life, he survives. From being shot in the neck, to bullets piercing through his back, to being badly beaten, he somehow comes back and exacts revenge. Little Mark came at him, and his affiliates in full swing knowing the repercussions, and it soon became reality. Three days after the release of the music video on March 28, 2014, Lil Mark was about to lose his life. The sun shining down at midday followed an alive and breathing Lil Mark as he made his movements through the day. Never would have thought what was about to occur. 1 p.m. arrived, and Lil Mark made the decision to head to the bus stop at the 300 block of East 51st Street in the city's Bronzeville neighborhood. The first assumption is that his intention was to await the arrival of the bus. Being in the open in that manner left much room for rivals to locate and carry out whatever retaliation they plotted. That, in fact, was exactly the situation that followed. At this point, assailants were either tailing him or were informed of his location. At around 1.25 p.m., an eyewitness that was also at the bus stop stated that while he was standing behind the assailant as he saw him approach from the back of Little Mark, 
aiming a handgun with an extended clip and firing at the 20-year-old. The witness, fearing for his life, ran for cover before being able to see the shooter's face. Reporters state that the assailant escaped in a silver minivan with Florida license plates and fled north and then west. Later that day, around 6.30 p.m., the minivan was found abandoned in flames in the 3700 block of South Ellis Avenue. Little Mark was pronounced deceased at the scene at 1.41 p.m. His life tragically came to an end as his lifeless body lie among broken glass in the wake of what just occurred. The scene soon became crawling with officers bordering off the crime scene with one lone body laying covered in front of a bus shelter with a white blanket. As officers marked the scattered shell casings about the region, onlookers were forced to look at the sight of another young man losing his life to the gun. The heartbreak echoed through the tears and mourning as they encamp about the crime scene. Little Mark's incident was one of many other shootings that occurred that day. Pacheco, a police spokesperson, hinted that investigators were looking into the possibility that this incident was related to another incident about an hour earlier in the 5100 block of South Emerald Avenue, in which a 25-year-old man was shot in the thigh. On an inverse, his rival seemed rather certain of what actually transpired and who was responsible. They took to the internet to voice their joy in seeing Lil Mark lose his life after he disrespected their affiliates that passed. One such rival, known under the alias Rondo Number no. 9, shared a photo of Lil Mark laying at the crime scene with the caption that acted as a warning for anyone else who disses his slain friend, L.A. Capone. Others, like OTF founder Lil Dirk, went as far as going to the bus stop where he lost his life and sarcastically mocked how the bus stop became famous. What's more significant and heartbreaking about his passing is that his brother Tuka was also shot in the same way while at a bus stop on 63rd and St. Lawrence in the Woodlawn neighborhood in Southside Chicago. It was almost as if the shooters were enjoying crafting the sick plot to end their lives in the same manner as brothers. The disrespect to Lil Mark continued to flow from other rivals visiting the site, mocking his passing online and disrespecting him in multiple songs. Eventually, names began calling throughout the underground street community as to who may have been responsible and a particular name stood out. Allegedly, the ones who had a hand to play in carrying out Little Mark's hit went by the names D. Rose, THF Twilla, Five Star, T. Roy, and King Vaughn. King Von on his verse for a song titled For a Fact by Simex Santana wrapped the lines referencing Little Mark's homicide. Caught that boy right by the bus, that's his last stop. My hollows be twisting up dreadlocks. Caught that boy right by that bus, this is last stop. Tracing back to tweets on the day Little Mark lost his life revealed something startling. D. Rose posted he was outside with King Von, T. Roy, and his affiliates, to which King Von replied, confirming that they were outside and in traffic, but became even more suspicious were their posts after the hit. King Vaughn on the same day went on to post a number of tweets, but the two that stuck out were him stating, Die Why Man, Die Why being a diss to Lil Mark's gang 051YM, then his other post referencing Lil Mark's headshot stating, 051 better keep their head up. Both posts followed by the numerous laughing emojis. The following day, D. Rose also tweeted a very direct message about the hit, hinting at the fact that he had a hand to play. He said, I'm going in, no problem. Ain't gotta ask who shot him. But that wasn't all. DHF Twilla also posted a picture of him at the bus stop, mocking Lil Mark's passing. While it's not confirmed that they were the ones involved, many suspect them as the ones responsible given the timing of their posts and what they posted. As time went on, more details began surfacing from those connected in the city and by word of mouth. One shocking piece of information posted online, a Chicago Reddit platform, Chirocology, stated that the day before Little Mark lost his life, his rivals allegedly attempted to take his life at the very same bus stop but failed. Still, Lil Mark went back the next day where they shot after him again and succeeded.
succeeding. Sometimes life gives you warnings, but Lil Mark didn't heed his. His lifestyle led him down the same path as his brother, and both became statistics of the growing and continued feuds, destroying the youth. At the time of his passing, Little Mark had a girlfriend who was carrying his child. This meant yet another innocent child would grow up without a father. Rest in peace, Little Mark.